let me live. I'm glad to be in the service one more time. Amen? Amen. Amen.
Amen. God bless you. So, how's everybody doing? Tired. Amen. Is God good? All the time. All the time. God is good. Amen. Amen. See a lot of familiar faces from the, the picnic Amen. and from Vacation Bible School. Yes. Some of us are a little tired, some of us are a little sore. <laughs> but it just smells like smoke. <laughs> He's on the grill. He's on the grill for like five hours. Six hours. Brother Joel. Brother Jeff was faithful. Yes. God bless you, Brother Jeff. Amen. Uh, amen. Amen. Um, right now, we'll have a little time for testimony. Yes. So just pop up and give God the glory. Okay. Amen. Okay. Sister Melanie, then, then Brother Arthur, then Sister Rolanda. Okay. We, uh, good morning, everybody. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, and as we just saying, this is the day that the Lord has made. Yes. And I'm rejoicing and being glad, even though I'm tired. One lesson at a yeah. time. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just telling you, don't get, don't get happy. That's it right here. Because okay. <laughs> I'm still in the process of learning. Amen. Amen. And I'm just wow. thanking God that Amen. He had blessed me to just have this opportunity. We had so much fun. My legs are so sore. <laughs> right now, I got on my flip flops. <laughs> I do got my heels over here, but I can't even put them on because I'm sore. <laughs> so, you know, it. It was just a blessing, you know, like, even if, when, we, when we went to the um, to the cookout, that was such a blessing. Mm -hmm. The pastor cheated, but he not even here to see her. He need to repent. He definitely had to repent. There was a lot of cheating going on. Yeah. <laughs> the pastor the main factor. So, you know, I, I just thank God because this was so, it was so blessed opportunity mm -hmm. yes. for us to just sit here and enjoy this. 
Amen. Because in spite of, you know, like the last part of you is that we couldn't even enjoy that. You could come be there. Mm -hmm. But this part, it was really, it was it really, was really cool. nice. And it's, and it's yeah. Yes, it was nice. So, so uh, you know, thank God that everything went great. Mm -hmm. Yes. No argument about Amen. the food. Amen. Nothing. Amen. Everything just went great. So I just thank you, praise God, for that. And I just thank God for me being here and just having that opportunity to just experience that with my kids Amen. and all my Amen. 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 Uh, Donald, before we get to you, let me say this about our Sunday school teachers. I think almost every one of our Sunday school teachers, maybe Sister, Mel Sister Melanie, but I remember every one of our Sunday school teachers, including me, didn't volunteer. They got, we got picked. Amen. So we need you to do this. Well, I don't know. Amen. Sister Juanita, we had to drag her in kicking and screaming. Yeah. <laughs> um, Sister Meyer, mm -hmm. where Sister Meyer went, she didn't think that she, you know, could do it. Mm -hmm. So Sister Rolanda, um, don't feel bad if we think that you're capable. Uh, but we'll take it one day at a time. Amen. 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 And, and God bless you for doing it. Yes. Yes. And, God bless you. yes. yes. and I think our Sunday school lesson was about Esther. Amen. She was reluctant too. She Amen. said, well, I, don't, I don't know. Um, but she did it. Amen. And she was a, a blessing. She saved her people. Yes. Okay, so you never know what God's going to do through yes. you. Amen. Amen. Sister Juanita? I, I think, uh, oh, Brother Donald, and then Sister Juanita. Uh, well, I just wanted to say good morning, everyone. Good morning. 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 Good In regards to the pushing, one of the teachers that um, Sister Heron came to give us, remember? She said, oh, we like to play along the shorelines where it's nice and shallow and, and the water, you can still feel the sand and, you know, you feel comfortable and safe there. But there's times in your life that God can push us into the deep water because it's time for us to grow. Right. And it helps us to trust him and build our faith in him, not ourselves. Amen. So I thank God for it. Continually pushing all of us, Amen. all of us, and I thank God for that. Amen. 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 Uh, um, everyone had a chance for our uh, testimony? Sister Marv, you're up? Yes. Amen. <laughs> Praise God. Amen. I just like to thank you, Lord, for having my life. I thank you Amen. for um, the power of this word yeah. that he provides for us when we end his word. It wasn't for him, like giving me the strength to get up and do the things that I do on a daily basis, and even the strength from yesterday. I yeah. say, uh, playing volleyball, you know, we ain't been out, I ain't been out there in like two years. And I was so, so my, my body was so hurt and everything. And, and I'm like, Lord, I'm gonna take these ibuprofen. <laughs> so, it took a couple hours, but I thank God that when I got up today, I, I didn't have the pain, but Amen. just the energy of, to want to, 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 you know, continue and plan and, and just everything, you know, the, um, thank God for the big bed, the safety, Amen. and the provision that he yes. provided yes. us yesterday. Yes. Mm -hmm. You know, it just felt like real, like family, you know, just that whole time, Amen. you know, it was, it was positive, it wasn't nothing negative going right. on. Amen. I just see looking around like a lot of love. We was all, you know, taking the kids. You know, sister boy had her great grands, and I had her, her great grands, and <laughs> my kids. But you know, it was great. It was wonderful. I just 
thank God for that time Amen. of fellowship, fellowship and again the power and energy that he provides with it. Amen. Amen. Um, time for our scripture reading. Thank you, Brother Kenny. He's always full of enthusiasm and getting us going and in gear. He's always energetic and, and always loving the Lord. We thank you for that, for that spirit, Brother Kenny. Okay, at this time, can everyone please stand? Amen. Amen. Our scripture reading this morning will be coming from the book of St. John. That will be chapter 14, and we'll be doing verses 1 through 7. St. John, chapter 14, verses 1 through 7. I still see a few pages turning. And when you find that, can you respond by saying amen? Amen. amen? And the writer begins. Let not your heart be troubled. You believe in God, believe also in me. Amen. My Father's house has many mansions. If it were not so, I would not have told you. I go to prepare a place for you. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you unto myself, that where I am, there ye may be also. And where I go, ye know, and the way ye know. Thomas said unto him, Lord, we know not whither thou goest, and how can we know the way? Jesus said unto him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father, but by Together, if, if ye had known me, ye should have known my Father also. And, and from henceforth ye know him and have seen him. May the Lord add a blessing to the reading and to the hearing of his word. Amen. Amen. Please remain standing. Time of prayer. I'm like Sister Marv, y'all. I'm. I'm sore this morning. I'm hoarse. We uh, we have a great time, and our hearts uh, rejoice in the fellowship and in the fun that God had afforded us. But I don't know about you. Sometimes when you do those fun things, enjoy yourself, and you come back home and you and you listen to the your phone messages, Jesus. you look at the news. It can pull you right back out of all of those occasions, right back into reality, amen? Yeah. Where people are hurting and where people are dying, where life is, is, is going through stuff. And I don't know about you, but sometimes I find myself, myself going through, amen? Yes, sir. Yeah. Yes, sir. Well. But I'm so grateful that in the midst of going through, I got Jesus. Yes, yeah. yes we do. Amen. Yes, we do. Prayer time, and I'd like to invite those of you who would like to come to the altar, join us at the altar. And sometimes, saints, when we go to the altar, please know this, it ain't always for you. Right. Amen. 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 Sometimes you got folk in your life. Sometimes folk have said to you, pray for me. Pray for my family. Oh, gracious and loving Father God. And Lord, we say that every week. Oh, gracious and loving Father God. From all of our hearts, with everything in us, we thank you for being a gracious God. We thank you for inviting us to the throne of grace. That place where your face fills the space. And even though there are dark clouds and shadows of death and issues and circumstances you still God and we still say thank you thank you for your keeping power for your watching over power for your love and for your kindness thank you for being God so good 
good. Yeah. God, that in spite of our many failures, you picked us up again and put us back on the right road. In spite of our many occasions, Father, where we found ourselves floundering and fooling around, your faith sent the hounds from heaven and hunted us down, brought us back home. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for your grace and for your mercy. Thank you for your kindness and your patience. And then, Lord, as we thank you for how good you be, we pray today that you help us to respond in kind. That we would say thank you not just with our lips, but with our lives. We would say thank you, Lord, in how we treat people that don't treat us kindly. We would treat them back kindly. We would say thank you in how we treat strangers and how we go through storms that our lives would say thank you. So Lord, may everything in us, from the crown of our heads to the sole of our feet, say thank you. Thank you for your faithfulness, Lord. Thank you for your patience and your kindness. And then, Lord, we hurry to the foot of the cross and we say we need you. So folk have said to us along the way, Pastor, would you pray for me? Friend, would you pray for me? Would you pray for my daughter? We're not getting alone now. Would you pray for my son? He's left home now. Would you pray for mama? She's almost gone now. Lord, as we pray to you, we pray for those that we love. Pray for those that we care about. We ask in the name of Jesus that your great arms of grace and mercy would cover and keep them, Lord, in the midst of life's despairing scenarios, Lord, in the midst of life's ups and downs, that you would still be the keeper. And Lord, if you are our keeper, we know that we will be kept. So in the name of Jesus, Lord, all of our cares, our loved ones, our friends, family members, our spouses, our homes, our future, our finance, Lord, we put it in your hands. And Lord, help us when we get through praying not to pick it back up, but to leave it in your hands, to trust you to be able to fix stuff we can't figure out. You got the fixing ability, Lord. You're still able to do more than we could ask. And so we ask in the name of Jesus that you would help us to cast our cares and lead them there. Pray, Lord, for our church today. In the midst of these times where church seems to be secondary for so many people. Help us to still be the church. Help us to still let the light of your love shine in the dark time. Let the light of your care and your kindness reverberate all over this world, whether it be through the radio or via the internet, Lord, may it be seen that Jesus still saves. He still heals. He still lives. We thank you, Lord. So, Lord, in the name of Jesus, we pray that you would still be Lord all over this world. We know you are Lord. But that we, the body of Christ, we, the church, the children of the Most High God, yes. would say to a waiting in a dying world, he still lives. Yes. And the light of your love still shines through our lives. That's our prayer, Lord. Yes. Lord, forgive us for our many failures. Yes. Cleanse us yes. from all unrighteousness. Yes. And Lord, whether we're ready or not, use us. Yes. Use us, Lord. We want to hear you say one day when it's time, when time is up, well done. You've been faithful over a few things. Come on. Pray, Lord, for those who have given leadership to Midtown. Help them know how much I thank you for them. The folk who will do the work. The folk who will not look for the easy way out. Folk who will work and don't get no pats on the back, but they're there. You can depend on them. They, they share, they care. Thank you for their Lord. Keep them. Pray for the 
church all over America, Lord. A church that seems to be going cold. Pray, Father, for those who are going through times of struggle and trial. For whose loved ones have been given bad news. Pray, Lord, for them. All of these cares, all of these concerns, we lay them at the foot of the cross today. And Lord, as we close now, we want to say thank you for the victory. Amen. Your word declares that greater are you in us. We thank you for the victory today. We thank you that we have been, get, have been given overcoming power. Help us to walk in that power. To live in the midst of the trials and the troubles with a sense that we still win in Christ Jesus. All these things we claim in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you.
Amen. Amen. The scrape means the, the split. Two or three people did split, y'all. <laughs> Try to slide in the third base and did a split. And the Lord kept us. I will never take that for granted, y'all. The Lord kept us. The Lord kept us not only through VBS, but through the, through the cookout. And, and, and there are always dangers. There's always the enemy who looks for every opportunity, but he kept us. Amen. Amen. And so as, as the voice of God to the people of God, I want to say thank you. Amen. Thank you for your care, for your thank kindness. You. I almost want, want to not thank the Lord for the, for the referee, for the umpire. But you got to thank you for everything. Amen, y'all. You got to thank you for everything. For the good and the bad. Amen. 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 Uh, Sister Melanie says that some folks going to have to repent for cheating, right? And she said that right after I talked about the umpire, y'all. <laughs> so we had a great time, and again, uh, to Midtown Bible Church. And one of my friends called me. I'm out of town, and he says, what are you doing, man? I said, we're just wrapping up BBS and getting ready for He said, what? Y'all still having vacation Bible school? Yeah. Y'all still having yeah. church cookout? Yeah. I said, yeah, yeah man. We, and we thank him the Lord. He Amen. said, wow. Amen. So to you, uh, those of you who braved whatever the challenges were and helped us meet those needs, from the bottom of my heart, I say, thank you. Amen. 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 God bless you. Uh, there's a couple of other announcements. Uh, two weeks from now, we're hoping to have our service outside. Uh, we do have some remainder from the from the cookout. Have some remaining uh, hamburger patties, and wieners, and so we're hoping that after we have our meeting outside, we can come back to the church and have have a little time of fellowship. Amen. And, and one of the things I believe, y'all, that those things are a better success when we prepare for them. Amen. 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 So those of you who can, we're gonna, if the weather continues to be warm and clear, we're going to need to set up our tent. Yeah. We're going to need to make sure we've got the, the kind of jackets that have the stripes on them so that you can be identified as a, as a guard, a passer. What do you call it? Crossing, Crossing guard passer. So let's make sure that we have all those things in place. Uh, uh, for those of you who can, uh, help us Saturday night. Yeah. <laughs> I'm learning, y'all. I can see why, why God started out with the night before. He said, and the evening and the morning were the first day. Amen. It's almost as if God gives us an idea that for your day to be successful, you got to plan for it. Yeah. Amen. 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 So for those of you who can, would you start right now saying, Pastor, can I do the help or to the mothers? Because none of this stuff just happens. It takes a lot of work. A big job, a hot sauce. Amen. <laughs> it takes a lot of buttermilk on the chicken. Amen, Sister, Sister D. Sister D got us putting buttermilk on the chicken. All right. It's going to be all over the world now. Sister D is going over to YouTube. Amen. <laughs> buttermilk and Brother Jeff says his secret sauce. And, 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 and whatever else it takes, but it was delicious. Amen, y'all. Everything is good. So please, as we look forward to the to the remainder of the summer, uh, we would ask those of you who can. And there are some things we need to do because it is summer. We need to cut back some limbs. And we just need to, so if you are available, if you see yourself for one or two hours, and I say this as pastor, y'all, because we've got this, the summer youth kids here, the yeah. mayor's summer amen, kids. Amen. Uh, any of those of you who have a couple of hours, probably takes two hours to do everything it would take one hour to do normally, because you got young people, amen. <laughs> Y'all didn't hear me. It probably takes two hours to do everything that you can do by yourself in one hour, amen. <laughs> so those of you who at least got two hours, we would ask you to come down, because we've got a lot of little odds and ends. Believe it or not, y'all, there's a whole lot of things that go on that makes our church wholesome and, and, and healthy. And so all of those kinds of things, sometimes a good time to take care of. So if you are available and can help us between 10 and 4, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, that's when our summer youth are here, we would love to invite you to just come down and help us. I, I told them 
when, we, when they first came down, I said, dog, we're looking for this one particular diagram. It, it, has a, it indicates where the parking was, was supposed to be initially given to our neighbors. We can't find it anywhere. I said, if y'all find that diagram, I'm going to give you $100. <laughs> I didn't have no more trouble out of them that day. <laughs> but, but they did such a good job that we didn't have that to do the next day. <laughs> so, so I'm just asking you if you can help us because we got young people, y'all. And young people are still young people. Oh, Even if they say they're young people. Amen. 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 I found one of them in the hottest part of the building, in the back, upstairs. And I said, what you doing up here? Back here. I'm just taking, I'm cooling. I'm cooling it out, Pastor. Cooling it out in the hottest place. That you're doing high. That's what you're doing. You're high. So those of you who can help us with our young people, we invite. Amen. Amen. All right. Uh, we're well underway in the summer season. We, uh, I, I think the summer fest is, I mean, the music Fest is still going on, brother. Brother, uh, the, gospel the gospel fest took today. I think it is okay. Yeah, I think it is today. So, those of you who can, that's going to be a wonderful occasion of celebration. So, we invite you, uh, and all of those kinds of things. If you all will make us aware of it, we'll put them on our bulletin board, and just make sure that we are aware. Summer is not a long season for us. Amen. Amen. So we should make good and full use of it every opportunity we get. All right, if there are no more announcements, are there any other announcements? No other announcements? Okay, we're going to ask that our officers would make ready now that we might receive our offering. And I'm praying, y'all, that as, a, as, a, as the song was saying, which he said more and more, y'all, yeah. that we'll grow more and more in our worship. Amen. Amen. That we'll look for ways, uh, we'll look for opportunities. I had a chance to talk with Brother McReynolds and, and other brothers and say, man, I think I know your heart. You want to serve the Lord. That really ought to be all of our hearts. Amen. Then more and more, more and more, more, and more yes. we want to worship God. So let's do that. I'm going to ask you to stand now as the choir sings, as the officers make ready, and just make sure that you honor God. And y'all, I talk about a tithe, because I hope that we will be a tithing church. But y'all, I hope that's not where we, where we, uh, where we end up. Amen? Amen? I hope that we'll keep going. I actually have... I have $500 in my pocket said I got to give the uh, the trustees. My prayer partner said, Pastor, give the lady that's going to be doing our play, give her a $500 deposit. We're going to do a, a real theatrical play, and we're calling it right now The Secret Weapon. We're going to be talking about, we, we, we ain't tell nobody, but it's really prayer and worship. Amen. But my point is, these guys know that the more we invest in God, and God things, the more God blesses us. Amen. So let, let's don't let tithing be our stop off point. And that's what we get, that's what we're learning. But let it be our, our drop off. Let, let's grow from there. Amen. Let, let's, you ought to give more than a tithe if God has been good to you. So I just invite you to start out honoring God for 10%. And then as you grow, do more. Amen. Amen. Quiet.
help us, Lord God, to have a humble heart. Hallelujah. That we may receive your blessing. Yes. That we may be a blessing to others. Yes. Ask your blessing upon this offering, we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Can you all tell that Brother Joel is still a little hoarse? I didn't know he could holler like that. Amen, yo. Know? He, he wanted his team to win so bad. But they lost the last one, though. No, yes. Amen. They lost the last one. We won both of them, actually. They won two, but we no, won the last one. One and one. Yeah. We're not going to argue in the church. Right? <laughs> We're not going to argue in the church. Yes. Amen. 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 Quiet. <laughs>
You are you Albany University, University of Albany. University, University at Albany. Albany. And y'all, she has been just a just a wonder. <laughs> she uh, she blesses us real good. We got some more graduates. I think my grandson graduated. Did you graduate this year? We got one new graduate going off to college. And I have another grandson that graduated going off to college. So you all make us aware so we can honor you, amen. Hey, Brianna, we're going to have a graduation party next Sunday at 4 o'clock yes, at Sister Melanie's house. So, on Rodney Street. So those of you who can, uh, let's, let's say to Brianna, we are, we are I, 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 I'm careful when I say this, so I say this with great care, but we are proud of you. Yes. Amen. Yes. We're proud of you. But often, should be proud of you. Yes. Amen. Yes, yes. Amen. We thank you. Brother Arthur, for all of your participation, Amen. for all of those of you who've worked hard, I, I think most of you all went to the next level, didn't you? Uh, Britton and Ashar, did you all go to the next grade? Y'all did graduate. Yeah. You're okay, great. So let's let's make sure we commit all. Of, I think uh, Jada is already in college, right? Yeah. Amen. And so we honor all of those of you. We we want you to keep going. Amen. Amen. We do not want you to just stop. And then those of you who got your degrees, don't stop. Amen. 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 If, you, if you're going to keep going, hear me good, you got to keep growing. Amen. Life doesn't stop just because you graduate. You need to keep going. Keep going, yes. You, you point it. Ninth grade. Ninth grade. Ninth grade. Ninth grade. Ninth grade. Wonderful. Ninth grade. young people we got we, we congratulate you and we and, and remind me th that we can bless you amen y'all we need to bless them we need to make them know we're proud of them and we thank the Lord for them amen God bless you quiet